Hi, in this video, we will delve into the fundamental steps required before doing the code signing process for iOS. These fundamental steps are referred to as the prerequisites for code signing. Before we start with prerequisites, let's quickly go over the concept of code signing. Code signing is a process in which a software developer or distributor electronically signs the application file they are distributing to assure users that the application will perform as claimed by its creator. This signature serves as evidence that the code has remained unchanged and has not been tampered with since its initial form. Code signing is mandatory for making your app accessible in the App Store. These sequential steps must be completed before initiating the code signing process. Let's take a closer look at each of them individually. The first step in this process is to log in into the developer program. You can sign into the Apple developer program using your Apple ID if registered. If you haven't yet enrolled, please visit developer.apple.com slash programs slash enroll. The link to enroll is available in the description. Once you have logged into developer.apple.com, you will find program resources used for managing certificates, identifiers and profiles. We will get into the details when we create the necessary files. The next step is to create a .p12 file. Start by opening the Keychain Access app. Then navigate to the menu bar where you will find Certificate Assistant. From there select Request a Certificate from a Certificate Authority. You should give an email address and a name. And that's the option to leave the CA email address field empty. Select Save it to disk and the file will be stored on your desktop. Next, access your developer account, navigate to the certificate section and click the add icon to include the new certificate. Choose Apple distribution, click continue. Use the choose file option to upload the certificate signing request CSR file you have generated. Proceed by clicking continue and then download the .cer certificate. Open the Keychain Access app and drag and drop the .cer file you obtained from your Apple developer account. After doing so, click on the file to initiate the export process. At this point, you should be able to locate the .p12 file. Click on Save and a pop-up will appear prompting you to set a password for this file. To proceed with the export, create a password and ensure you use the same password for logging in. Next, in the developer account, go to the identifiers and click app ID. Click continue, choose apps and click continue again. Here, enter the app name in the description along with the bundle ID. Underneath, you'll find a list of capabilities. For many apps, push notification is crucial. Let's go ahead and select push notification. Then, click continue and complete the registration process. You should create another .p12 file specifically for push notifications. Remember to save it with a distinct name in Keychain Access. Next, access your Apple developer account and from the list of identifiers, select the app ID we previously created. Navigate to the push notification section and click on configure. Opt for the production SSL certificate option. This certificate is essential for connecting to the Apple push notification service which enables your app to send notifications. Finally, click create certificate to proceed. Upload the certificate we generated in Keychain Access. Click continue and download. A .cer certificate will be downloaded. Once again, import this file into Keychain Access and then export the file by creating it and logging in with the password.
the last step in the code sign prerequisite is to create a dot mobile provision certificate within your developer account navigate to the profile section you will see app store listed under distribution since we intend to distribute the app through this channel let's select it and click continue select the app id that matches the description and the initial bundle id we provided refer to the expiration date you encountered when creating the certificate earlier and choose the certificate that corresponds to this date then proceed by clicking continue provide a name for the provisioning profile then click generate afterwards upon clicking the download button you will receive the dot mobile provisioning certificate that's all we have successfully created the essential files necessary for code signing the app for ios the next step in rebranding journey is code signing the link to the ios code signing video is in the description subscribe to our youtube channel to learn more about zoho creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video